Alright y'all, about to eat for the first time, freshened up, showered, uh, see I got the watermelon, currently doing the watermelon fast, I did it earlier this week for like two and a half days, well last week I did, last week I did it for two and a half days, and my energy was absolutely phenomenal, so I started yesterday, and I mean I don't really have an effect right now, because I just started, but last week I was wired, I was getting things done, and I just have so much energy. So I'm back on the watermelon detox, fast, whatever you want to call it. Seeded watermelon for sure. Why I do the watermelon fast? Uh, and it improves, it hydrates you. And then it improves your gut, mostly your gut and detoxes uh, with mucus and different type of, you know, especially with your kidney and stuff. But it's a vibe. It's a vibe. And I mess with watermelon. So. About to eat some watermelon, chill, relax for a little bit, and then. Today's Sunday, huh? Today's Sunday, so we got to go. I think I'm going to go to the library. I'm going to go to the library and do some, um, do some work, get some work done for YouTube. Um, go over some analytics for the month. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. Bro, it's like drinking. It's literally like drinking a juice. But you just chewing. Alright, I'm done talking. I'm done talking. Because that's crazy. What? Yes, sir. What's up, gang? Oh, we just got to the library. I got to whisper because I don't know if I sound loud or not. But we just got to the library. Uh, I'm about to spend probably like an hour, hour and a half. Uh, going over content uh, for the week and also for the month and building just a solid strategy and then <laughs> and then we're gonna get up out of here and go enjoy the sun and enjoy the uh, nice weather while we can so we're just gonna wrap this up But my heart is absolutely full right now. Like, bro, the see the smiles on your face is absolutely amazing. And it's like the reason I do everything I do. And uh, yeah, so it brings me to this message. Like as I'm sitting right here, you know, day three, final day of my uh, watermelon detox. Let me hide some of this actually. Let me get a little comfortable. So it brings me to this, you know, it's just like you got to enjoy the present moment. That's where I'm really at in life. Like you got to enjoy the present moments and embrace the because my thing right now is I'm very impatient and I expect a lot more than what I'm currently dealing. With. Like I heard this analogy that said, um, what she say? She said, you are you want to be in a car controlling everything going the max like trying to do the whole dash and go like 100 140 miles per hour when you got to realize that you in a plane going 500 per miles 500 miles per hour and just embrace the flight and then sit back and enjoy the flight and that really hit me and i'm like bro that was like directly to me bro because i've been i'm so impatient like it's things that i wanted to get done this year or i thought i would have had done by this time next year this year like last year things i thought i would have had done already that i still haven't got done and i'm like man bro and i'll be trying to rush and like 
you know, get things done. But I got really got to just trust divine time and trust God time and, and just enjoy my waiting season because I feel like it's a waiting season right now. Like this last six months, like this last six months has been like a waiting season for me. And I just got to go into that stillness, like go into that stillness and just, you know, enjoy the present moment because all it takes, all it takes as a little, I think I was there out there with them for like 30 minutes, if that, like a little 30 minute sh like session just to go like, and you just be like, I'm floating right now. Like. I wish everybody could experience this level of like love and just like appreciation for life because it's really that simple. Like it's really that simple. It don't matter like the cars, the followers, the all that extra material stuff. It's just about being present and embracing that waiting. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. I'm back in the house. The wind was kind of crazy. The wind was starting to pick up. I was starting to get a little cold. And I didn't bring a hoodie or a sweater. So we're back in the house. Uh, the day is pretty much over for real. Uh, you see, I got my watermelon finishing this because it's almost eight o'clock. And after eight o'clock, I'm shutting it, shutting it down with straight water. Uh, but this is the, my last day of my watermelon detox and my stomach. I've been bourbon like crazy. Like I've been bourbon nonstop and my stomach is like tight on the side. So I think it's a good thing. It's either whatever it is, is about to flush out somehow, some way. But last day, um, see, I still got a lot. I ain't gonna finish it all, but probably eat it in the morning. I'll probably eat it in the morning. And then, yeah, I ain't really got nothing planned for the rest of the night. Eat this till I'm about 80%. And then I probably just chill, edit some videos and play some MLB. Bro, I've been rocking with MLB heavy, heavy. It's like part time because I really don't like playing a game like that, but I got to play it to force myself to stop working because I would literally constantly just stimulate my brain with either books, podcasts, some type of information or just steady edit and think of content like so that's a good way to wind down my brain and really just cool down my night got to see a little bit of the, of the uh sunset it wasn't nothing too crazy today but y'all are